It is India's oldest paramilitary force and the Assam Rifles has kept the tricolour flying high. Both in its cradle in the northeast and elsewhere. Ahead of the force's 189th raising day, we travel to its headquarters, Shillong, to understand why it is unique in more ways than one. First and foremost is that 80% uh, of our officers are from the Indian Army, so the military thoughts, military culture comes very naturally to us. Uh, as against any other force which exists in the country, which are not part of the Ministry of Defence. Second is, uh, we are the oldest, 1835, no other force comes anywhere close to us uh, in the home ministry. So, like you said, 190th year. And third, of course, is being Northeast centric. Sentinels of the Northeast, as we know, guardians of the Northeast. Right. Though we've been at other places also, but primarily here. So, I think that's what sets us apart. The Assam Rifles holds immense geographical significance due to its strategic deployment and operational emphasis in the Northeast. It acts as a guarding force on the Indo Myanmar border and also as a counter insurgency auxiliary force for operations in the Northeast in support of the Indian Army. The Northeast's rugged terrain, dense forests, and mountainous landscapes pose challenges for conventional military operations, which makes specialized training necessary. Till 1985, 65% of our uh, soldiers were from the Northeast. Mm -hmm. But thereafter, uh, there was a decision taken at the national level to give it a switch and make it an all India based force. Uh, so currently from then to now, what has changed is from 65-68%, we are now 25%. The force was raised by the British in 1835 as Kachar Levi, a ragtag militia to protect tea gardens from unruly tribes. Its scope increased with the expansion of British Raj in northeast India and it was used against insurgencies in the region. The force was redesignated as Assam Frontier Police in 1883 Assam Military Police in 1891 and East Bengal and Assam Military Police in 1913. It was named Assam Rifles in 1917. The only paramilitary force to have taken part in both world wars, the Assam Rifles epitomizes valour and resilience on the battlefield. If you go pre-independence, we were fighting alongside the Indian Army both in World War I, World War II, Battle of Kohima, Battle of Imphal. And then uh, when you come post-independence, we were uh, first in uh, Sri Lanka, 1987. Eight of our battalions went there. Then uh, we also had a battalion in um, Jammu and Kashmir in 1990, 1990 in the early 90s that is. Mm -hmm. We still have two of them. So we are there as well.
after independence, the Assam Rifles functioned under the Ministry of External Affairs in the Northeast, where insurgency and unrest threatened stability. Its operational control was transferred to the Indian Army after the Sino-Indian War of 1962. It was brought under the administration of the Ministry of Home Affairs in 1965, with the Army retaining operational control. Assam Rifles is the only paramilitary force with this dual control structure. Now this is the Vijayanagar Dagger as it is called. It juts into Myanmar, about 750 square kilometers, completely forested, virgin territory, hmm. no inhabitation and the access into this complete territory hmm. is uh, by virtue of two passes. One is Chokan Pass, which is here, and one is Hungpan Pass, which is somewhere here. Okay. These are the only points of entry into this salient. Nowhere else can you enter because of the peculiarity of the terrain. Very high mountains and deep forests. If this area had not been occupied by us, the Chinese would have done it in a week's time. And then the 1962 war would have been very different because they would have got access to areas south of Brahmaputra. This is Brahmaputra. Yeah. They would have been south of Brahmaputra. There was no need for them to come to Tezpur, which they did, or Tawang. They could have just come south of Brahmaputra and reached Guwahati in no time. Another interesting aspect is that Jawans of Assam Rifles can work up to the age of 60. They are allotted a particular battalion and usually remain stationed with that though they may be sent out on deputation for about three years. In the time of the night soldier, it was very responsible for the response. Now, I think it's a little light. Why? Because the time of the night soldier is a lot of infrastructure. We have to struggle with everything. फिजिकली मतलब स्ट्रगल करना पड़ता था उस समय तो कोई रैंक कोई मायना नहीं था करने पड़ेगा तभी कुछ हो पाएगा तो अभी मैं तो इस पर से काफी चेंजिंग आया है तो जिसके लिए इतना मतलब मजदूरी करने नहीं पड़ता है जो मतलब हम लोग फेस किया था देश सेवा के लिए निकले थे घर से तो तो अभी भी दिल था कि अभी भी करूं Assam Rifles recruited women for the first time in 2015. Be it checking infiltration, cracking down on drug smuggling or counter-insurgency operations, they take part in all. I am the first uh, person in my village to join army and they are very proud of me because like I motivate them a lot like uh, they are not expect a woman to join an army that is the more main uh, motivation for them training me uh, weapon ka hathiyar ka bari me pura sikh liya aur jo ci jungle me ladai me kya kya karna hai wo patrolling ci operation me kya karna hai wo क्या राइफल चलाना आता है आपको क्या क्या आता है आपको इंसास राइफल्स और एलएमजी और ग्रेनेड तो लड़की लड़का हम सब जैसे चेनिंग किया जो जो लड़का लोग ने किया वो ये हम लड़की लोग ने भी किया तो उसके बाद तो जो लड़का ने कर सकता है तो लड़की ने भी कर सकता है it's a matter of immense pride for me to be working in the oldest paramilitary force of this country and in fact, I always uh, mention to my uh, civilian counterparts who passed out with me in college and all that if I had would have been a dentist in civil, I would have been just a dentist. Here I'm a dentist. Uh, sometimes I'm the sports uh, sports person. I'm uh, orator speaking over the on stage, or uh, sometimes I'm actually an administrator as well, as well because I'm commanding a dental unit. So I there's so many uh, different roles I get to play, which I was never uh, knowing that I'm capable of. Stop. 
It will be a year in May since ethnic violence erupted in Manipur. Between the Maitais living in the Imphal Valley and the Kukizo tribal communities from the surrounding hills. The physical and emotional separation of the communities is total. The Assam Rifles has been in the thick of the action and rejects allegations that it has been acting in a partisan manner. I have 500, 600 Kuki people staying in Kamchuk. Yeah. I have res rescued them also. Yeah. See, I have many people saying I am equal for everybody. Yeah. Okay, I have to look after everybody, I have to see everybody right, safe. Right. I am an eternal optimist, having lived through Manipur for all these years. Maybe it's just a hiccup. Eventually, I think people there in the state, and they are the largest stakeholders, the common people, yeah, okay. will see the sense or the nonsensical idea of indulging in violence, and peace shall prevail. Apart from such fault lines, the situation in the Northeast with its mist-clad mountains and lush green valleys have improved over the decades. So does the Assam Rifles continue to be significant in the region? General Nye reiterates that to say Assam Rifles is irrelevant is to lose sight of the bigger picture. The 1962 war, in all the valleys of Arunachal Pradesh, if you start from the east, that is Tawang, go, uh, sorry, sorry, the west, that is Tawang, and start going eastwards. From Tawang, you have Subansri, Siom, Siang, Lohit Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, all these valleys, we had Assam rifle soldiers right at the forefront. They were in small penny pockets, but they were even ahead of the Indian Army. Of course, part of the Indian Army, but right ahead. So when the Chinese onslaught came, the first onslaught was faced by our men. The larger picture here is our northern borders, China. Okay. So if there is something that happens on the northern borders, and we all are aware, I don't have to spell that out, uh, how precarious, how uncertain uh, those borders are, Assam Rifle will constitute a major part of uh, the Indian Army. In fact, uh, no operational plans of the Indian Army is complete without the presence of Assam Rifle troops. And let me put it uh, most succinctly that more than three-fourths of our force will be committed uh, on the northern borders if and when a situation so arises. The Assam Rifles has 46 battalions, of which 20 are involved in guarding the India-Myanmar border. The rest are involved in counter-insurgency roles, including two in Jammu and Kashmir. Force modernization is a critical aspect and is high on the priority list. Not just equipment, but vehicles, cyber security and even rations for Javans are being upgraded. We are now today, we are in the process. In fact, we have procured many quadcopters, handheld thermal imaging devices, uh, night vision goggles. Then there's a change in weaponry that has happened. We are getting uh, a pistol called this ASMI. Mm -hmm. uh, now this is very interesting. This pistol has been wholly designed, manufactured uh, indigenously. There are other sniper rifles that we are getting. There are other rifles which are specific for our ghataks, our commandos. Mm -hmm. um, then there are other things that we've done in terms of procuring uh, more mine protected vehicles. This could be utilized both in counterinsurgency, also in conventional operations. A decade later, the Assam Rifles will complete two centuries as defenders of borders, agents of change and ambassadors of goodwill. They have left an indelible mark on the annals of Indian military history and will continue to do so. So our roles have been hmm. changing ever since. But what has not changed is uh, 
are operating in sync, in step with the Indian Army. Uh, so tomorrow, as I foresee, like you said, in the next decade, yeah. uh, no matter what challenges the Army faces, like for example, what happened in Manipur is still happening, we will be at the forefront. A hundred and ninety years of existence. Myriad missions all over the globe, innumerable operations all over the country. And so many stories. We have tried to capture and bring to you the essence of Assam Rifles as their legacy grows stronger with each passing year, resonating with the ideals of duty, honor and courage over almost two centuries. Assam Rifles continues to stand as a beacon of resilience, inspiring generations to come. With Ariman Singh Negi, this is Nilanjana Banerjee in Shillong.